Welcome to A Moment in Time with Taylor. Thank you so much for tuning in. This channel is 100% viewer funded by people just like you. These are our sponsors from the last 30 days. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for making this show possible. We are about $1,500 short of our goal right now. So if you'd like to support this channel, you can do that at femyoga.com by clicking support. And if you sign up for monthly recurring sponsorships of the channel, you'll be entered to win $100 in June, another $100 in July, and another $100 in August. So you can sign up for as little as $5, 10 $20 a month, even $50 a month, and you could win even more than you contribute. Or you can contribute $100 a month and maybe win a free month just to honor you. Good karma, all that. So thanks everyone for contributing what you can. Tyree, hello, Coley. Yes, this is a new dress. I've never worn it before. It doesn't really look great sitting down. I don't know the best way to, to make it look nice when I'm sitting. But I was, if you watched my last broadcast, I had kind of a rough morning. And that just kind of dragged on into like the whole day. I actually ended up sleeping a little bit because I just felt really kind of deflated and I just had a kind of a rough day emotionally. So I said, well, why don't I put on a new dress because that'll help to, to cheer me up, brighten up my day and brighten up my mood. So hopefully it works. Hopefully it's helping brighten up your day as well. Tyree, thanks for the super hearts. Oh, stop it. Hi, Rick. Hi, Pablo. So good to see all you familiar, beautiful faces. Donna. Oh, I miss you too, Rick. I'm here. I'm here every day, at least three hours every single day. Today, actually, it'll be closer to four because yesterday we only did two. So let's hang out. We're in it for the long haul. I've only been live, I think, like 50 minutes today. So we got three hours, 10 minutes to go. Anthony. Yay, Anthony's here. Thank you, Coley. Yeah, Lady in Red. Yeah. Yes, you helped a lot, Pablo. So Pablo said, I hope we helped. Or You guys definitely helped being here, too. But also, I have um, a group chat on Twitter for everyone who's sponsored the channel $20 or more in the last 30 days. And um, I went in there and I just told them I was having a rough day. You know, so let's put some positivity into the group. And they were sending, you know, it ended up just being this a big joke. We were sending gifts that made us laugh. I told them the only way they could cheer me up is if they all got matching Dreamcatcher belly button rings. And they all denied me, except Trevor, who's the only one who obviously truly cares. Hi, Nick. How's everybody doing? Yay! Kim gets her dress from Wet Seal tomorrow. This is also another Wet Seal dress. I've, I've basically worn my new Wet Seal clothes every day the past four days. I think I have one more shirt, and then we're out of new clothes. <laughs> Thanks for inviting, Nick. I appreciate that. Christina, hi. Hi. Thanks for talking. I know sometimes you're very quiet, and you're here, and I don't see you, but thank you for commenting. Hi. Uh, you got the email, the book reviews email. Oh, Anthony, did you like it? Were you able to look at it? I know 17 books is a lot. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I read a new book every single week. And I read seven, uh, this year I've read 19 books, but the first two were on my last email. Um, so I send an email out three times a year, once every four months. And it has at least 16 books on there or so. Uh, and it, it's a summary and a review of all the books. It's totally free. So if you like the sound of that, if you like reading, if you like books, I read a book a week, so you don't have to. And you can sign up for that at Fem Yoga as well, femyoga.com. Uh, right on the homepage, you'll see it. Hi. You'll get one. Donna, get one. We'll all be twins. Uh, Nick, thanks for the super hearts. Pablo got one, but he super glued it. You super glued a dream catcher to your belly button? That's not great. Oh, thank you, Christina. You got the cold shoulder with the bell sleeves. What's that? Oh, you'll have to you'll have to post a picture on Twitter or Instagram or something and tag me in it so I can see it. Um, my hand is hurting. That's not a good sign <laughs> right before a drawing broadcast. <laughs> it's just one of those days. Sometimes you just have those days and you just have to do what you can do. You gotta show up for work, you gotta go live, you gotta do some drawing and hopefully your hand doesn't hurt. And we'll see. If it hurts, I'm not gonna draw. I'm not gonna hurt myself. Uh, reading reviews and your thoughts about it very awesome yay and also if you guys find any books on that list that you like if you click the picture of the book it'll bring you to the Amazon page for that book so you can see how much it is maybe you want to get it for your shelves at home um, and it is an Amazon affiliate link so that's actually a way that you can support the channel you know just a few cents goes to the channel but um, if you buy through our Amazon links then we get a little bit of blowback so at least you get a book and we get a little a little commission out of it out of curiosity, hey Drew, did you understand Nietzsche your first time around reading his work? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I got the impression that he's very anti-Christian. That's what I read was the Antichrist. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't. I wouldn't say that I learned a whole lot, but I pretty much agree with him that it's not, uh, you know, a, a benevolent force that it pretends to be, like any cult or religion. Hi, Alexis. Uh, but I found him to be a little bit soft on, on Buddhism, which I thought was interesting because... There, there's instances of Buddhism that ha that uses um, like self, what do you call it, flagellation or something. Um, so I don't think I don't think any religion can be viewed as like better than the other. I think that's a dangerous territory to kind of venture into. But anyway, this is a drawing broadcast, and we have been working from this Betty Edwards book, drawing on the right side of the brain. I have no art background, uh, with the exception of studio art class in high school, which was one semester, and I don't even think it was every day. I think it alternated with gym. That's how much we valued art <laughs> in school, and uh, personally, I was fine with that because I was never that was never my strong suit. As you may be able to tell, I'm kind of a thinker, a reader, a geek. I talk a lot. I think a lot. Um, I I struggle more with things that deal with uh, expressing creativity, things that require a lot of patience and kind of slow, thorough movements. So this is a good challenge for me. And I declared 2018 the year of no fear on this channel when we were setting kind of like New Year's resolutions from 2017. We decided 2018, no more fear. We're going to do some drawing. We're not going to be afraid of of d being bad at drawing or being bad at things in general. There's no fear from learning. When we learn something new, we're going to be we're going to suck at it. We are going to suck at it unless we find some miraculous natural ability that we had that we never knew, but chances are pretty good that's not going to happen. So instead, you have to learn and practice and be bad at things if you want to be good at them. I can't think of really anything that you just are automatically going to be good at. Maybe breathing, you know, but it's not really super impressive if you're good at breathing. <laughs> Much more impressive if you're good at a musical instrument. Um, singing, running a business, reading, drawing, painting, sculpting, you know, hard skills that, that are more impressive than, uh, than just sheer knowledge of topics. Um, so for me, I'm pretty good at generating income, but I'm not uh, as good at, um, you know, kind of, what, what's the good way? I, I, would, I would just want to pay people, like, to do the things I don't want to do. But I think that it's, there is a lot of benefit to putting yourself out of your comfort zone, learning new things. Maybe you'll find a talent that you didn't know that you had. Uh, we're most of the way through this book, and I would say we did not discover a latent ability to draw inside of me <laughs> but we've been having some fun with it and I've done some drawings I never ever thought I would be capable of doing so it's giving me more confidence but it's also hopefully inspiring you guys to do the things that you've been afraid to do or that you think you're gonna be bad at and you're kind of embarrassed about your skill level there and just get out there and do it um, so we're doing this and then also on Fridays I do a different dish so I make a different meal in the kitchen that's another area where I just never really learned how to cook or spent much time in the kitchen. So we do that every week. Every week we've been doing drawing and cooking just to face to face that fear of, of being new at things. Namaste, Anto. Hi, Smitty. How are you? How's your surgeries been going? You're awesome at sitting? Oh, my God. Coley, I freaking love you. I'm awesome at sitting. I'm also great at napping. I could get the golden napping. I don't know, Coley. I would give you a run for your money with napping because my naps are always at least two hours long. Drawing scopes. Yeah, we'll see if we, we draw it all on this broadcast. I'm hot, so you could probably hear that fan in the background. It's blowing right on me. I might even need to turn it up at some point once I get drawing and get all sweaty and worked up because <laughs> I don't want to get all sweaty in my new dress, but it's hot in here. Hi, Asian boy. All right, so our lesson this week is shading, lighting, and we're actually going to be using our eraser as our drawing tool. So, we're going to be drawing this dapper gentleman. This will be our subject. And as you can see, a lot of this picture is actually in darkness. I would say that the photo might be even 50-50, maybe even more than 50% dark. 
and that's going to make hopefully our lives a little bit easier. And what you'll learn is that you can actually build shapes out of darkness potentially more easily than you can build them out of the light because the darkness is a little bit more forgiving. You can erase and kind of smudge and, and it, it kind of looks like it was supposed to be that way. Whereas when you have a perfectly white sheet of paper and you make a wrong line and you try to erase it and smudge it, the light is much less forgiving, right? Think of, you know, is it, do you look better in the broad daylight, like under the exam table at the doctor, you can see every pore and every ingrown hair in your whole body? Or do you look better like, in kind of a low light candlelight situation, kind of dark, a little shadowy, can't really see everything. <laughs> and that's kind of what we're working with here. We're gonna start with a completely black background. So I'm gonna take my, my uh, drawing pad, I'm gonna make my template, this rectangle here, and I'm going to take my graphite stick, my darkest one, and I'm gonna cover it completely, completely as dark as I can get it. Hey, Ling Cloggy. Um, with the exception of maybe right here in the center, I might intentionally try to leave that a little bit light, but I don't know if I'll really be able to pull that off, so we'll see. I think you're really, let's see what the instructions say. I think you're supposed to really, yes. Tone your paper with a rubbed graphite ground to the darkest dark you can achieve. So, yeah, that's it. What do you mean, really? What did I say? Oh, <laughs> what? Do you look better in the light or the dark? <laughs> you look better with the lights off, isn't that what Chris Brown said? <laughs> It on my dress. I gotta get a little airflow here. Try not to moon anyone. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my drawing pad and get to work, shall we? So I'm using a, an 11 by 14 inch drawing pad. It's 80 pound paper, and this is from Strathmore. Hi, Matt. Then I'm going to find an empty page. Let's quickly look at one of my favorite drawings that I've done. Came on! <laughs> this is the CEO of Periscope. And I drew him one day. That was very, very nerve wracking. Woohoo! We can do it. Yeah, it's going to be a while. By the way, if you've ever been to one of my drawing broadcasts, if it takes me an hour or less to do this, that would be amazing. Now that is a pad of paper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? And you see how small my drawings are on them, too. I'm good, Asian. How are you? How are you doing? Um, okay, where am I going? Over here. So now I'm going to get my picture plane. Or actually, my viewfinder, I should say. This little guy. Little jail. Little jail cell. This, use, this is helpful for um, establishing perspective and proportion. And dropping onto the floor. Internet seems back. Yay, Zen! Zen is thinking about getting a Fem Yoga hoodie over at femyoga.com by clicking shop. Coley, I love you right now. She said, I got my snacks and my drink ready to go. I love that. Hey, Fresh Naja. Greetings, Alan. Um, Buck, I'm sorry to hear about your small pee pee. I really am. Truly, truly, truly. Okay. I'm really sorry that I had to hear about it, is more what I'm trying to say here. Okay. So I'm going to just quickly outline this bad boy. And then I'm going to draw my inner inner plane as well, because if you look at this, this black, this black border around the outside edges, so this kind of like half inch thick edge around here, hey Ed, is not actually going to help me with proportion, so I'm going to make sure I block that off so that I don't accidentally get confused with pr proportion and perspective. Claudia, hi! Thanks for inviting and sharing on Twitter, so nice. Who else? Did I miss anyone else coming in? I think I got everyone. Yes, Coley with her snacks and drink. I love that so much. How's everybody feeling tonight? I'm feeling a little better than I did this morning, so thank you for your patience with me. Hey. Ed, are you still crying from your onion? An onion made Ed cry like a little baby today. He was asking me if I could relay to him the Ruby Noosa onion cutting method because I have 
I have converted to love that method of cutting onions. Like, what? It's so awesome. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we have Ruby Nusa on this channel every Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and she um, cooks Italian dishes. She's been cooking, I think, her entire life. And what? You look as fabulous as I feel. Who, now, who said I felt fabulous? Now, that might be a stretch. We'll see how I feel, though, after drawing this. Another thing, if you've been to my drawing scopes, not only are they extremely long, <laughs> but I also usually have a mental breakdown at some point partway through. So you can look forward to that. <laughs> if you'd like to support my mental breakdowns, femyoga.com, click support. <laughs> Cutting onions is no joke. There's a good method to it, though. I, I showed it actually on my last, when did I cut onions? When I did chicken biryani two Fridays ago. Um, check out that replay. I did the, the method on there, too. And then I think hers from right before that, the Thursday right before that broadcast, she did it for the meal she was making, which I think was beef casserole. Okay, you're here only for the mental breakdown. Well, I hope that I don't disappoint. All right, so now I'm gonna take my graphite stick and smudge the heck out of this baby. And what I'm using is a number four drawing pencil. I actually prefer the number four to the number two. Um, I believe it's a harder, a harder point, and that means it's a lighter draw, so it's a little bit more forgiving, I've found. Your grandma said not to cut off the root end until the last minute, no tears. Yeah, that's what Ruby says too. Now, I have a theory that it has nothing to do with the roots, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but um, my theory is that the reason it doesn't make you cry is because of how much quicker you're chopping it in this instance. So you just, like, chop it in half, put it down, and then if you... Let's see if I have, like... You know what? I might be able to use my microphone. Sorry if it's a little noisy, but it's kind of onion-shaped, I suppose. Um, so this here... Like, say this was, like, your onion, you know, and then you, you would cut into it. You don't want to cut the end. You would cut, like, into it here all the way down to the, to, to the bottom, but you don't cut all the way back. So you leave, oh, sorry, I forgot that you can hear that. So you leave, like, the little edge here, and that's where your roots would be. So you'd be holding it, like, by the roots here. And then you slice into it, boom, 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 you know, whatever size onion chunks you want. And then you cut into it like this. So this is my knife. So then you cut in like this. Now, again, not all the way back, just almost. And then again, and again, and again. And then you just ch -ch 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 chop it. I think what happens there is you're just chopping it so much faster um, that the onion, the surface area of the onion isn't exposed to the air as long because you just chop it up, boom, get it right in the pan. I also think the type of onion that you use makes a lot of difference. You know, I used it. Great audio, sorry. ASMR onion cutting. Um, I, what was I going to say? Oh, I used a white onion last time and I had no tears at all. At all. Hello, Mike. And Hunter Resendez, hello. Do I have to say boom? I think you do have to say boom, Tom. I don't know if I said boom, but if I didn't, I messed it up and I would definitely be crying. So make sure you say boom. Can you tell that I'm just stalling for time because I don't want to draw stuff? All right, let's draw stuff. Okay, I have my graphite sticks wrapped up nice and tight in these little paper towel. Boom has to help. If boom doesn't help, I don't know what will. Okay, so 4B, 6B, I think we want the 4B. I think that's going to be the darkest. Let's try it. What are we drawing? Uh, we're going to be drawing a shadowy figure. You're a little late, so you missed it, but I did show it. Another one of your master skills, procrastinating. Hey, I have a good book for you. It's called Eat That Frog. I know you're not going to buy it because you're going to procrastinate buying it, but hey. Uh, wait, this is my smudging one. Wait, what was, wait, 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 wait. This for smudging. This for holding. Okay. Mm -hmm. This. Um, I use a paper towel because I'm like, I don't like getting messy. And we'll see how my new red dress holds up to all this graphite. I might have to change. I'm already covered in graphite, so we'll just have to see. All right. Here we go. 
So I'm taking my graphite stick, boom, and then I'm just going in. you guys can't see oh my god <laughs> what the hell get out of here all right I'm not gonna be able to see comments very well but at least you'll actually be able to see what I'm doing a little bit Oh, are you guys trolling me now that you know I'm not reading the comments? How many people are at home right now going, hey, I think I could draw this. <laughs> I think I could do this. This drawing thing doesn't look so hard. Oh, you friggin' wait. You wait. It'll suck you in, and then you'll be like, now I gotta draw a face? What the hell? <laughs> I'm sick of doing this already. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in such a mood today. is gonna make such a mess. What's the point of doing art if you're not gonna get messy? Well, I'm actually causing dust. <laughs> Kicking up sparks over here. Is that dark enough? Is it possible to make this any darker? I think it is. I'm sweating. I'm drawing a dark doorway. I'm drawing the door gateway to my soul. <laughs> okay, no, not really. <laughs> Don't get crazy, Taylor. All right, now I smudge. Oh, it smudges so much better when you have, like, so much that it's friggin' black. This is one of the coolest things that I've learned since starting this book, is um, how to tone the background, which is what we just did using the graphite stick and then taking a paper towel and just kind of rubbing it so that it's nice and smooth and there's no more lines. I think we might need a little more. Actually, why don't we just make that the bottom? That should be okay. All right, so you can see I did some smudging and we are left with this beautiful silvery graphite smudge. I actually have to pee already, wow. This broadcast is going just great. Here, you want to look at my drawing while I go take a quick potty break? Bye. I'll be back. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Katie.
Hi, hi, hi. They make Etch-a-Sketch. Oh my God, rub your stick with a paper towel until it's smooth. This is not suitable for work, oh no. Okay, now we're ready to draw some stuff with an eraser. Actually, I'm going to turn up my fan. All right, it's going to get a little louder in here. Brace yourselves. We're getting to business now. It's getting hot in here. That's a nice chair. Oh, thanks, Anthony. I'm glad you noticed. Hey, Sassy Walker and Hamad. What are we doing? I just ran to the bathroom really quick. You need more beer? No, Tom, no beer yet. We, gotta, we have to earn our beer. we got to do the work first. And then, hi, hi. So if you want to take bets, how many people bet that I actually finish this drawing? And how many people bet that I rip it up and get a beer instead? <laughs> Ooh, I amuse myself. All right. Now I've got to get my erasers. Bear with me. So I have three different types of erasers here. You vote beer. You finish it and drink a beer also. Ed, I like the way you think. Someone asked for a um, blackjack teaching scope, so I might have a beer with that one if this doesn't take me three hours to do. We're at 30 minutes. So far, we have a black rectangle. So. Um, the most common is going to be this one, just like your normal white eraser. This one's Prismacolor plastic eraser. Here, let me turn my autofocus on so you can see a little better. <laughs> Configure video. Autofocus. Okay. So, there. Boom. Prismacolor plastic eraser. And then there's this one, which I forget what they call this, but this just actually, they didn't tell me to buy this in the book. This was just something that came with one of my, uh, one of my eraser packs. But I like this one. It's softer. Um, and it's got, I don't know, I mean, I guess it just, it erases better. It erases better than the white one, I think. And then we have our, this is kind of, I've been using it a while, so it's kind of used, but um, they, what do they call this, you guys? This is um, one of those moldable erasers. You see how, you know, you can like, and you can kind of like shape it. You can rip pieces off of it. Um, and that's, this is probably going to be the main piece that we use uh, for this drawing today. And what we're going to be doing is creating this shadowy figure, which I'll show you, from the dark rectangle that we currently have. So we're going to be doing this guy and using the eraser. So first we're going to start with his chest piece here. Oh wait, I'm going, I can't, okay, I got to do it while I'm looking at it. This here. You're back from the dark ages, yay zen! It looks like I chewed on it, yeah, it kind of looks like chewed up gum. <laughs> I swear it's not gum, it's an eraser. Uh, what I do need to figure out is where to put this guy. I'm cool with having him there. And now to draw him. Wait, actually I want to read what it says in the book. I'll read it to you to the instructions. What's going on the eraser paint? No, no, no. It's just being used as an eraser. So it's like graphite, and then you're going to use the eraser to create the light parts of the drawing. What's the eraser made of? Plastic, I suppose. Okay. So we've toned the, the paper. Blah. 
You'll be drawing with your eraser. Begin by lightly erasing the major shapes of light on the face. Okay. All right. So begin by lightly erasing the major shapes of light on the face, the white neck scarf, and the soft shapes behind the collar and shoulders, always checking the size, angles, and position of those shapes against your basic unit. Your basic unit would be like his nose or something. We've talked about basic units before. Meditation? No, Ian. Not right now. We're doing this guy right now. So I'm going to start with his scarf and go from there. to make some really light crosshairs. With the eraser. And those, it might even be too light for you to see. You can kind of see them, see the crosshairs? So the line through the middle in both directions, and that's just going to help with establishing proportion, perspective, um, and it's going to be really easy to smudge those lines out when we're ready at the end. Okay. And I can also take my picture plane and lay it over the top of his face to get a feel for how he should look lined up in my paper. actually just face this way. I don't know. Actually, I don't want you guys to see the side of the chair. I'll just turn. Hey, Kaden. probably not the right way to do it. Probably cutting it is better. Eh, I'm going to make it work. Actually, I'm really enjoying this. It's very unusual for me to enjoy drawing this early on, but maybe because I haven't had to do the hard parts yet.
that's a scarf. Oh, hi, weirdo. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, not really paying very much attention. You're right. So there's his scarf. I'll show you the subject again. And then I'm going to reference back to the instructions to figure out what's next. Hey, Atari. Hey, thanks for the super hearts, man. Look, we match. Matching, matching, matching. Well, there goes my racer. I should set up another device next to me. I wouldn't be reading it anyway. I'm very in the zone of drawing. So I got his neck scarf so far. And now it says, looking good. Thank you, Trapper. Thank you for the super hearts too. All right, so then erasing the major shapes of light on the face. Oh, oh God. All right, here we go. Aw, oh, thank you, Tyree. Yeah, and honestly, I'm having a little bit of a rough day, so uh, I'm not feeling as social as I normally do, but I still have work to do. I still promise you guys I'm going to go live three hours a day, so. You can still troll. You can troll even when I can't see you. I just won't see it, you know? It's just that you won't get the satisfaction of seeing me be trolled. <laughs> but stick around. You can troll me on my next broadcast. Do I want snuggles? No. <laughs> Not at all. It's going to be really hard not to put my hand in this graphite right about now.
like I can't stop or I'll forget what I was doing. Oh, it's creepy. I'm starting to see his face. This is freaking me out. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are starting to see it yet, but I'm totally starting to see it. I'll give a little peek. So this is his scarf on the bottom, here, his nose, his eye, his forehead, his cheekbone. Isn't that creepy? Isn't that creepy? So creepy. He's not looking too good. We gotta make him look a little bit, a little bit hotter though. Hey Bob, it's cool, right? It's clever, clever, clever. It's a cool way to learn about shading and lighting and kind of how where shadows fall naturally on the face and, and so forth. mouth. <laughs> Not exactly sure.
think I really messed up our proportions pretty big time here. Not sure how to get it back. We're going to figure it out though. I think his head's too small. Compared to his eyes, his head should be like way bigger. So. I've lost it. I've completely lost it. I'm not sure I can salvage this picture. <laughs> uh, I could literally just like try to start over. See what we get. I failed. It's okay. I feel fine about it. going too smoothly. <laughs> I knew something wasn't right. Turns out all of it wasn't right. Okay. I need scissors or a knife or something. Yeah, let me go grab scissors and I'll be right back, okay? Yes, I'm learning, learning, learning. Oh my god, it's so friggin' hot in here. Alright, I gotta turn the fan up a lot higher. Sorry, it is. Welcome to Fem Yoga's Drawing Broadcast, where we may or may not have a mental breakdown. Sweep the leg. Hey, Scooby. How are ya? Alright, let's try working upside down. That might work better. It's worth a shot. Let's switch it up. Try something different. See what we get. actually going to do something different this time where I'm going to put the lighting in the background first so I know I'm not way off base with my proportions this time.
<laughs> These scissors aren't gonna work. So what happened the last time was that I had absolutely no room for his ear or that side of his head at all, so I completely ran out of room, which means I was way off with proportion, so hopefully this will be a little better. No promises. Yeah, my scarf was way too big on the last one. That's okay. We're learning. His head was way too big too. <laughs>
His nose was way too big, too. Everything was just way too big on the last one, so I'm glad I started over. There was no salvaging that.
graphite everywhere. Okay. I guess. I mean, I guess I could just leave him. I'm not totally happy with him. Oh, I forgot his little jacket. His chaqueta. Silly me. Almost there, almost there. Oh, you know why? Because his jacket doesn't fit in my thing. Well, what if we go like that? No, that's gonna mess everything up. Alright, that's why I didn't draw his jacket, because it's not in my picture. could make him better. Like, he doesn't really have a mouth. I guess I could draw with my pencil. Am I gonna mess it up? It's possible. Trying to smudge out the crosshairs a little bit here now. It's actually pretty good. All things considered. He needs a little more shading in his cheek. Give him a little bit more definition here. A little more. Just a touch. A little something something. Give him some depth. Too much depth. It's okay. I get it. Yeah. That's actually nice. I'm happy with him. He's not perfect, but hey, this is better than I thought I would do. Here is our gentleman. You like? This is what it was supposed to look like. This is my model. Hey Twitter Universe, thanks for coming on Twitch. <laughs> Javaris Jamar, hi. So that's what I was supposed to draw. Thank you, Coley. Who said that looks good to them? Anthony, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. So I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm good. So I'll put that up for our thumbnail. First I'll sign it. FYT from Yoga Taylor. 5-21-18. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah, it's, it's, you know... I wasn't going to start over again, so I don't hate it. I don't hate it. 
So that took, see, that only took an hour. We're getting faster every time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Especially considering we started it over. It's like when you used to copy Superman. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. So we'll be doing another drawing scope again next week. I will be back tonight with a blackjack instructional broadcast, which was requested by Scoopy. So I'll teach you basic blackjack strategy. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about card counting, um, bets, side bets, and we can just have a little blackjack discussion, maybe have a beverage. And uh, depending on if we have more time, we'll do a little something else too. So we still have about another two hours of content for you tonight. So I hope to see you back for a beverage and some blackjack. I'm gonna go get that set up. It'll take me a little while. I'm gonna try to set it up in my kitchen, I think. So we'll figure out the best way to set that up. What time? Um, I don't know. I don't feel hungry right now, but sometimes I get hungry right when I end a broadcast. I haven't eaten dinner yet and it's 8 p.m. So we'll see. You're drinking now. All right, maybe, maybe we'll do it now then. Um, I'll grab a beverage and meet you downstairs for some blackjack. And if you're not back for that, just follow me. I'll be back live again tomorrow for day 28 of our 30-day yoga challenge. And tomorrow's Tuesday, so it's trivia with Sonam 108 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but hopefully you will be back later on today. I feel like I look pretty today. You know how rare I feel that way? It's the dress. Yay, dresses! Okay, so thanks for all the support. Thank you for the super hearts, Zen. I don't think I saw those. Uh, who else do we got? I can't. I can't click the button. I'm clicking the button, nothing's happening. Atari, Nick, Tyree, Trapper, and Michelle, thank you guys so much for the super hearts. Thank you, Coley, you're so sweet. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully you enjoyed your drinks and snacks, and I'll be back with some blackjack in a little while. I gotta get the deck of cards and get set up, make sure the table's clean and all that. So I'll be back as soon as I can. Remember to check out the website, femyoga.com. This channel is 100% viewer funded. Thank you so much for making this show possible. And remember, if you sign up for monthly recurring sponsorships on the website, you'll be entered to win $100 in June, in July, and in August. So sign up for the monthly recurring sponsorships. You can do as little as $5 a month, and you'll be entered to win the $100. So it's a pretty good return on your uh, investment there, but also only if you find value from the content. And I do cater my content to my sponsors as well. So if you're on this list, you tell me what you want, and I make sure that I do that regularly. So I'll see you in a little while for some Blackjack. This has been A Moment in Time with Taylor. Thanks for watching. You are Batman? Oh, okay then. Zen has definitely been drinking. <laughs> drinking to the point where you think you're Batman. Hi, Lampy. I'm going to be back live in just a little while, okay? I'll be live in within the next hour. Okay, thanks for sharing on Twitter, inviting your followers. Bye!